So do you remember the Atari VCS? I think a lot of people have kind of forgotten about it at this point, which is funny because they raised a bunch of money and then they kind of just went dark recently. Actually, right at the end of end of last year, so end of 2018, they said they'd have more for everyone going into 2019 and really we haven't heard anything. In fact, the only thing we've really heard is confirmation that they wouldn't be at events to show off their system that they're they did crowdfunding for and I assume they're going to also try to sell in stores and online beyond that crowdfunding. Okay. So now we're to the point now where people are actively asking what's going on with the VCS. And for example, there's an entire subreddit around the Atari VCS and it's turned into excitement. Well, it's turned from excitement into concern. Mostly people asking questions about the system and why we haven't heard anything about it. And there's a lot of stuff going on here. Now, Yesterday, I noticed that their website, their main website, had some serious issues. It seemed to be issues with their graphics, the setup of the site, their CSS, everything. It was all over the place. It looked just broken. Their pre-order button still worked, but it was broken. And that made me wonder a bit more about what's going on here with this Atari VCS. So I started kind of looking around, just seeing what was happening. And it is a bit concerning. So they still have about four months or so. So it's, they have a little bit of time here, although, I mean, we really haven't heard much. We haven't really seen the thing officially working outside of a uh, very controlled environment. And there were times coming up here that they could have proven that it works outside of that. And that's kind of concerning. That's the biggest issue here. So I have uh, backed it, as you're seeing here. I backed it right away pretty much just to see, you know, when it comes out. We'll get it. We'll take it apart. We'll try it out and let you guys know how the project turned out. That was the whole point of it. So I have backed it. So there you go. You're, you could take this uh, Atari, if you see this, as uh, someone who's a bit concerned about their investment into your product that uh, maybe it won't actually come out and maybe this ends up uh, going away. I'm not sure, but if you are unfamiliar with the Atari VCS, it was something that uh, they did last year. Yeah, la last year, and what they did was they put out a crowdfunding that was delayed from December of 2017, and it happened, as you can see, uh, in June, and they raised over $3 million. Now, according to uh, finances that have been made available, Atari has roughly $9 million in cash. Now, I remember they sold some stuff off to THQ Nordic. I believe they sold off like Alone in the Dark and something else, and they made some money from that. Now, they have about $3 million that they crowdfunded. So, I mean, roughly 30% of their current uh, cash wealth is from this actual crowdfunding thing for the Atari VCS. To have that kind of money and attempt to do a full product launch is a bit concerning. I mean, I guess people technically gave them $3 million to build the thing, but R&D and others is it's kind of tough. It usually costs quite a bit of money, so we're, we're already in some gray areas there. Now, <clears throat> the system itself, they have been slowly updating this, and last I saw, this was all pretty much here last year, uh, later on in 2018, but they did put some specs down that include uh, the 8 gigabytes DDR4 RAM that they did upgrade from 4 gigabytes, and then they also talk about their Bristol Ridge A10 9630P, which, checking it out at 35 to 45 watts, is enough to run, like, 360-style games at 720p. It's basically going to perform around the level of the Switch, but probably worse in some cases, just because of the way the Switch has a lot built around its specific chip and its uh, API and the, and the OS and everything. Uh, to work correctly, so it'll be interesting to see all of that. They do say 4K and HDR output, but the chip isn't exactly capable of any of that, maybe outside of streaming. I guess I could see it doing that with streaming with, like, Netflix and stuff, but I don't even think a lot of their games will hit 1080p straight up, unless it's something like Tempest 4000, maybe? Uh, and they haven't really talked much about games outside of their old collection of, like, Atari games that I guess is going to come with this thing, so... We're already having some issues there. It says, yes, it'll live stream with Twitch and that it has a custom Linux Atari OS. So it is going to use Linux, so it'll be open, I guess, as well, which is uh, not great for developers because, of course, that means that people won't be locked into an ecosystem that would then provide them with money. So a lot of issues there, red flags that we've already talked about, just to get you guys kind of up to up to speed on that. And they do say in their, uh, there we go, we can go all the way up here, in their uh, overview of when they plan to ship, <clears throat> July 2019, and they're selling, uh, they have extra controllers, 
all kinds of stuff. So they are they are promising quite a bit, and they might be a bit ambitious here. So they also have put out updates, several updates. The last one was in February, February 4th, 2019, said nothing about the system at all. I think the last time they said something about the system was five months ago, maybe? It's been a while. I think it might have been October. But it's been quite a while. Now, there were some weird things about this. They're running a giveaway and stuff. That's fine. Okay, they're doing prizes. They talk about that. And they want to talk about the Atari VCS team in CES. And I said, CES? Okay. I don't remember them at all being at CES. In fact, I was trying to search for them being at v, uh, CES, and I couldn't find anything. Well, I found one thing. I'll show you what I found. But uh, they said they had a great time at CES 2019, the Consumer Electronics Show, the post-holiday gathering of nearly 200,000 tech and consumer electronic brands, manufacturers, inventors, exhibitors, et cetera, et cetera. That was in Las Vegas. Sounds like a good time. Sounds like a great place, actually, to show the world that your box works and that it can play games locally. That would be a great place to to shed some light on this situation and, and show everybody who's unsure or concerned that there's nothing to be concerned about. We got you. Uh, it does not look like they did that. In fact, they, they go on to say that, like, the entire world is excited about this system, but then I search for CES and Atari, and I say, oh, that'd be cool if they actually did something. The most I could find was this. We played on Atari's gigantic $4,500 Pong table. That is the most that I could find about this system and CES. Okay, so nothing there when it comes to CES. And then I thought, well, wait a minute, GDC is this week. And last year they showed off a box that seemingly pretended to work, but didn't really. It was basically just a box and it wasn't hooked up or anything. So I said, okay, they are probably going to go to GDC. That makes a ton of sense. They were there last year. They've done their crowdfunding. They maybe want to push on like the runway up to their launch and shipping it and everything. However, PC World did an article where they talk a lot about GDC in the grab bag. As you can see here, all the fun stuff. We're going to have Google tomorrow. There's a lot of cool stuff happening at GDC. Uh, as you expect, the Game Developers Conference, that's where you go to lock down developers, talk about this stuff behind closed doors. Atari should be there with this box, and they should be talking to developers about creating and developing for their platform, right? That's exactly what I would expect. That's probably what you're expecting, but... What was odd about this situation is uh, the person who wrote this article here at PC, uh, PC World, they talk about the Atari VCS and how they did see it last year, but then in like the last thing here, they say, don't expect any Atari VCS news though. I already asked and it won't be there. Well, surprise. So again, even they're taking shots and making fun of the Atari VCS. I don't understand why they're not at GDC. That's weird. They were barely at CES. They were there with their gigantic Pong table. Uh, nothing really to do with the VCS. However, in their updates, they continue to talk about how people are excited around the industry about this thing. But I don't hear anyone talking about it. In fact, the entire Reddit is questioning this thing's existence completely rather than get excited about this thing being four months away. So uh, I went a little further. I started to look at the comments on their Indiegogo page and uh, it's going as well as you can expect. Uh, in fact, I, I don't know if the GDC 2019 should be the turning point. They will confirm whether they'll deliver it or not. Uh, well, they're apparently not going to be there. So... Okay, um, that's fun. It's a lot of people asking what's going on. It's what it is. It's people questioning it. They're very concerned about it. And I understand why people would be asking this and saying, hey, what's going on with that investment I had? Well, things continue to get a little more interesting as uh, people noticed that their COO, Todd Shellbetter, Shellbetter? actually left the company after 14 years in uh, January. I think at, right at the end of January, he left. And he's now working at uh, Level Level X Inc., who apparently does video games for doctors and stuff, so or medical video games, it says, for doctors, probably for training, I assume. But you can see he was, Atari, he was at Atari for 14 years. He was their chief operating officer, and his job was to uh, lead the restructuring through Chapter 11 process. In fact, what's interesting about Atari is they have no debt anymore, apparently. They've gotten rid of all of that, probably through restructuring, through bankruptcy and everything, and they figured all of that out. 
I looked a little further into that. If you go to like their their finances and stuff, you can even look right on even like Yahoo Finance or, or Market Watch any of these places. Apparently, Atari SA has 23 employees. Uh, they have uh, one person who's actually working on the Atari VCS architecture and everything. Uh, he had an, an accident, an unfortunate accident, it sounded like, at the uh, last year, at the end, towards the end of last year. So apparently that had a bit of a delay, which is a shame to throw in there. I think what this is coming down to right now and why people are concerned, one, you know, the COO is moving on to another company. That's, that's a little concerning. Their blockchain stuff seems to have stalled. So you figure this would be their big thing. They would really push into the Atari VCS, but they have stiff competition around them with the Switch really picking up steam, obviously, the Xbox, the PlayStation 4, even the NVIDIA Shield TV is probably is, is probably competition for them straight up. And at that point, they just want to exist, I guess, as a system that will play their older games and then some indies, for example. But if they're not even at GDC to talk about their system with developers, indie developers, even, I don't really know what their plan is here or what they're doing. Seriously, go check out the Reddit and you'll see what I'm talking about. Even on Atari Age, they've turned into uh, a thread instead of talking about the system into talking about food and other stuff because no one really thinks this is actually going to come out. I am hopeful that it is happening, mostly because I've put the money in for it, so I want it to come out. But I am concerned, and I would not be telling the truth if I uh, was not 100% sure that this was even coming out. So, we'll see what happens, because things aren't looking good in the Atari VCS world, and I hope that they have something to share, you know, before July. Like, are we going to get to, like, July, and then a package is going to show up in my front door, and it's like a Raspberry Pi and, like, a v Atari VCS shell? I don't know, but... You figure they would have consistent updates. The last one we got was at the beginning of February, so we're due for one soon. And if it has nothing to do with the Atari VCS, that's... Well, that'll tell me all I need to know there, because even the February update said nothing about it. So, we'll see what happens. Let me know what you guys think about the Atari VCS. I am very concerned about it, uh, but make sure you let me know down below. Make sure you like the video as well if you liked it, dislike it, if not. And I'll see you guys in the next video.